Uh, Michael J. Fox has finally decided to retire. I can't blame him. He's, he's retiring because his health is uh, declining. Um, in, if you don't know about Michael J. Fox, in 1991, at the age of 29, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And apparently over time, it has kind of gotten more controlled. And it's declining very... Yeah, he's he's been struggling with that for a while. He uh, The fact that he managed to keep his career going for 30 years after that is impressive. Yeah. So. And uh, I remember his turn on... Of course, he did Back to the Future 3. But uh, I remember uh, his turn on Scrubs, where he was a doctor with OCD, oh, yeah. where he's constantly scrubbing and... That, I think, was probably, it was up there with Alex P. Keaton and, and Marty McFly. You gotta love it. I, I consider that I mean. more, but Michael J. Fox, one of those guys, he doesn't do a lot, but when he does something, it stands out pretty well. So, so we wish yeah. Michael J. Fox all the best, and, and we'll be praying for a recovery for you. Pray for healing for Michael J. Fox. Yes. Okay, three minutes and 16 seconds. What do you all got? All right, uh... <laughs> <laughs> New season of Stranger Things has uh, started production, and uh, they got Robert England. You know, Freddy, Freddy Cougar is going to be involved. Not Freddy Cougar himself, but Robert England, the guy who plays. Don't want people. To Although Netflix, that. With, Netflix might drop the money on it, but doubtful. Uh, Stranger uh -huh. Things is one of the few one of the few bright spots Netflix has going for it right now. But yeah, I could see them getting. I mean, he is an '80s icon after yes. all. Yes, was Freddy Krueger. Robert England's amazing, and, yes. and that's just it. He's been in a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. But he's all, he, everybody knows him for the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. So. Somehow he's gotten into a lot of like the really B movies that nobody really sees. But if if you go to like Asylum Network where it shows like. <laughs> Straight to DVD horror films, you'll see him running around there or something like it's that. It's because he loves it, man. Oh, yeah, he's like he's... Bruce Campbell. Give him a B movie and a and a, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and some background to chew on, and he's a happy little camper. So it's great. It's great. So, <laughs> two minutes to go. What else you got? Uh, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four, will be hitting theaters. December 25th, but it just won't be hitting theaters. It will also be hitting HBO Max. Same day. They're not charging extra for it either, I, are they? I, they have not said at all. Which makes me wonder, I mean, like, so how are they going to do this? Are they going to raise their price? or, or like, I don't know. I'd say, now Disney did that. They did that with Mulan. and what was the $30. One Thirty bucks, and uh, didn't work out too well for him because well Mulan sucked. But they did that with another movie before that. Which movie? Then they have a second movie that they had released to. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing as as like Disney was, but it was uh, Trolls Two was the yeah, first Trolls movie that. that was supposed to come Trolls to theaters. Did that, and they... Yeah, and then switched to online. Thirty dollars is too much. Okay, now Wonder Woman eighty four. Warner is, Hollywood is sticking around with it. They're trying to figure out how to do this. What they're going to figure out, you need at least a three-week window. Most, most likely it'll come out to a 30-day window. Theater exclusive first, and then available on, on demand for like 20 bucks, because 30 is too much, 20 bucks maybe, or 25 bucks, something like that. And then you'll see another, like, 60-day window where you pay a lot for it, and then all of a sudden it's going to go down in price, and you'll pay, like, 10 bucks for it or something, or rent it for five, and then it'll turn up on the streaming services, like, 60 days after that. I will say that, you know, if it does hit the theaters up here, I'm not going to lie, I will go see it. That's five minutes. But well, I'll probably right. also watch it on HBO Max, too. <laughs> so I'll go to the theater, get the theater experience. And, because, look, theater is, they're making it safe, okay? I know we're in decline of, you know, not decline, but a rise in the whole red zone crap. But 